Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be reacting to Amber's new video, which is called Girlfriend Reacts to my new bra, Torrid Hall. And I am super excited. Our hair's looking a little bit crazy today, but, um, you know, I did wash it this morning, but I didn't want to put any product in it today. I just wanted to let it breathe. So we're going all natural today. Um... Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. <laughs> I really just need to get a haircut. Anyways, let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? So vlogging in the car has become something I enjoy. Hello. Oh, hello vlog. I've, yeah. I dropped my purse. That's cute. I know vlogging in the car is like the best. I feel like when i've done vlogs in the past they've always only been in the car i mean it's kind of boring when you're just at home the car is still on because it's hot as heck in here but i'm gonna turn off the air so you can hear me and i'm gonna lock the door so no one steals me <laughs> locked so i have me a i don't know why i still have on my mask i have me a venti guava passion fruit we're gonna go have to go ahead and try that. We should do a day where um I just eat like all Amber Lynn items for the day. What do you guys think about that as an idea? Um, I don't know. We'll try to do like one of her healthier meal plans or something like that. I don't know. You guys look at though. this. 290 calories. So we have been Is that supposed to be good or bad? I guess when it comes to a frap, it's a lot better than that kind of out and about today i had to go get cash from the bank baby steps folks went to grab a bite to eat i had soup becky's currently in walmart because she wanted to very quickly pick up a knee brace because her knee has been bothering her which makes me really sad i hope this is focused because i noticed while editing i have bad knees as well i haven't had much trouble with them recently though the stuff that hangs on the mirror makes the focusing kind of they would pop messed out up. her knee She's always had a little bit of a knee problem Same. and it's just getting worse. And she also is getting Same. pictures that she printed. And I'm just waiting in the car because it's faster. I'm Marco Polo, <laughs> Hannah and Rafe. I freaking love Marco Polo. Like is her light on, girl? You're going to drain the battery. And you guys need to seriously get the app. It's fun. I need a new cell phone case. No, I've had this forever. It's just not it. cute. I don't like it anymore. Not my jam. Girl needs to get a brand deal with Marco Polo. After this, we're gonna go to it's just like group Whole snack, Foods right? and we're gonna sit know. outside their little patio and we're going to write because I really want just like fresh air. If you guys know what I'm talking about, because that's we just we're in the house a lot, and if we're not in the house, we are chilling at home. You get a little sunshine. She doesn't have that stoop to get her vitamin D anymore, you guys. Do you guys remember the famous stoop? Do they have a balcony? I'm not really sure. Um, if she's Maybe she's on the first floor. I don't know. Do they have a porch? I don't know. Guys, I love this wallet. Wait, what? If we're not in the house, we're chilling at home. I meant to say we're not in the house. We're like shopping or something like that. I, uh, I didn't even like catch that. I have no idea what the heck that was. But I love this wallet that I got from Target. But the thing is, Cute. it doesn't close. Like, <laughs> not my style, but I wouldn't expect it to be. <laughs> it doesn't close. It's so sad. So I might have to buy um, the exact one on Target.com or something. Anyways, why don't you try doing a little thing called exchanging it? I don't know. I think Target is pretty loose about their exchange policy. Hi. Hello, hello. Okay, so this is the next day. I didn't film anything else yesterday, clearly. That's really just a waste of money, but like she really has no idea about the concept of like saving and things like that. Um, you know, the little things add up. Rich people stay rich because they would go ahead and exchange even if it's only $20. You know, $20 means a lot. Um, too many people so i just i just don't didn't like that that rubbed me the wrong wasn't way. in the mood and that's why i like these vlogs where i upload three times a week because if i have a day where i need mental just like 
mental time for myself because I was having really bad anxiety last night especially. I'm able to skip the day on vlogging and kind of just like take care of myself mentally. Anyways, I'm okay now. I'm better. I feel better. But it just really wasn't good last night for sure. So I am in Amber. here. I'm actually... Oh, I forgot I have Torrid. <laughs> oh, geez. Another Torrid haul. I get the feeling that this... uh the public perception on this one isn't going to be very good, but I mean, it really is it ever. I have a new bra and everything. Let's do a little haul because I actually want to try my bra. <laughs> I totally just had a moment where I forgot that I got uh, my Torrid. Okay, so you guys know it's been like a long time coming when it comes to this bra. I don't like to, um, you know, talk, I get a little uncomfortable talking about undergarments right when it comes to other people but um it has been a long time coming hasn't it so i'm happy for her and her new bra i was gonna like pick out my outfit for the day <laughs> girl what so as you guys know right. I, oh my god i don't know if this is gonna fit ah! i have worn the same multiple bras they all look exactly the same they're the white with the polka dots they're all the same size and it's always been a mystery well actually no it hasn't been there was a video that resurfaced about a year ago because a lot of people were talking about the bra um a lot of people were saying that there was only one but then a video resurfaced that was from like 2015 or something uh, don't quote me on this that showed her um telling us the truth and she showed up I believe it was three or so of the same ones. So that wasn't another law, but still. Out more than one. I've showed them in a video before, but I've been wearing them for a long them. time. So I finally got a bra from the good old Torrid and it actually looks ginormous. So like the cup. Oh my gosh. Is this like a non-skill victory? We finally got a new one. Oh my God. I'm happy for her. Uh-oh. Well, I'll try that on later. It's just a black bra. My boobs are very small for my uh, stature, if you will. So I got a black shirt with stripes. Super cute, I love stripes. All the shirts I get from Torrid, I always get a size six. The dresses, I get a size four. I got some pantalones. Okay. I love their panties. I also get those in a size six. So this is one of those times where I preferred how it looked online. Um, it's just a dress. It's okay. I don't know. I kind of have something like this already and it has like polka dots. I don't know. So I needed... Do you guys ever see those things? It circles on Twitter like, um, this is what the dress looked like online and this is what I got when it came. It's always like, um, you know, like those cheap sites from overseas and then you get something completely different and they just stole a picture off of a designer's website and then you get like a piece of fabric with a string on it a tank top to go underneath an outfit of mine but i mean torrid is reputable so i just got a tank top i guess in size yeah, three because I, I didn't need it to be big or anything another shirt this is gray with cactuses oh my goodness so cute i wanted shirts because i like wearing them around the house and, and then this patterns. gray shirt with white hearts oh my god i'm so happy with everything i got the dress okay the one with the cactuses okay hear me out if it was like a button-up for men with like little cactuses on it maybe i would wear it maybe i promise i have something just like it i really do watch come with me come hither let's take this dress and we're gonna compare oh my gosh do you guys remember the dress nope to something i already have nope yay Okay, where is it? Where are you? This right here. Doesn't this look a lot like that? <laughs> oh boy. So it's on, it's a 52B. The cups are too big. Wait, so she already had it, kind of. And she doesn't uh, like it. So, so I, don't I don't think know. they make a 52A or if I should go down a number, but I will say around fits perfectly. Okay. It's super cute. It has this little oh my. thing. Oh my God. I honestly love it. I might low key just keep wearing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys. 
Looks fine, right? I feel like my boobs look different. I mean, you guys, I don't know. That's funny. Twinkie what? I'm scared of a plastic bag. Let's see what Becky has to say. Mess from Tori. And that's what you guys were sitting on. When I feel. Do you notice anything different about me? Girl, why don't you have a tripod, though? That's cute. Babe. Oh my god, your boobs. Becky are likes down it. Here, girl. Okay, <laughs> Becky likes it. But, but look, it doesn't fit right here. What do you mean? I guess that's all that matters. I still just right? keep wearing it. Watch, fill right here. Yes. Like, press right here. <laughs> yeah, I keep wearing it, though, because you can't tell. So that's, but that's, they're that's over good. here by my chin. Yeah, that looks good. Is that how boobs are supposed to look? Yes, look how low mine are, but that's because I wear a sports bra. So a friend of mine sells jewelry, so I bought, I already took these off. I think that is like an, it's an unfortunate um, side effect of her situation that she can't really find a perfect fit, but I do think that she should stick with the new one, right, guys? So I bought some from her to support her. Plus, they're so pretty. Look at these rings. Okay, paparazzi. George, I think is I'm that an MLM? gonna sport some of this today. Okay, you guys, this is like weird. The smell of like musky basements. Musty. Musty? Yeah. Musky. And musty, same thing, right? Now musky is like a mill. Oh. Why? Like an old unfinished basement? Okay, I know what she's, I know the smell. Um, I lived in old houses growing up, so I know what she's talking about. Went and got a creepy basement candle. Okay, where did you get this from, babe? She got it from Etsy. It's not really the vibe. <laughs> by Grizzly Candles. So I haven't smelt it yet. It's, most to, it's supposed to smell like a nasty basement pretty much, but she likes that smell. So we're gonna do a little, I'm like nervous. <laughs> Cause I personally don't want my apartment to smell like a nasty basement. So let's see. Why would anyone? Oh no, no, no. Wait, what? First of all, no, wait. This smells like when you go into like one of those shops with like incense and like they they sell. I just I'm still like a little bit shocked about how much money she spent this month. Oh, like beads that hang That's off the crazy. walls. It doesn't smell bad actually. It doesn't smell like a nasty basement. It smells like girls rich. Hippie. That's not that bad. Not that bad. I must say. It's not the smell I was wanting. What smell? Yeah, it smells good. What exactly were you wanting? Okay, you know, like an air conditioning, like an air conditioner, a window unit, or um, a car air conditioner that needs its air filter changed. Like that smell. What? That doesn't smell good, though. Or an old room that's been closed up for a Okay, do you guys have weird smells? I kind of like the smell of gasoline. Wow. <laughs> hey, what? But I wouldn't buy a candle. Everyone has their weird... Just for like a couple seconds when you like put your uh, gas in because I'm gonna go show That's them mine fix. actually <laughs> okay. you guys follow me into the darkness literally oh yeah Becky and I slept in here this is the first time I slept in a bed since my surgery so this is what I'm obsessed with the smell of vapor rub you guys okay, that really opens up the senses right I've never been like a vapor rub person oh my god this smells better than anything I've ever smelled in my life so I just made breakfast. Yeah. We have some fresh fruit there. We have two eggs with everything but the bagel seasoning on it. And these are chicken sausages um, that I cooked on the stove. So I figured I'd give chicken it Chicken apple sausage. <laughs> Try. That looks good. Breakfast looks delicious. Why are you filming me? Those Marco. eggs. She cooked those eggs look nice. Hello. Oh, hi, Anna. Hi, Rafe. <laughs> So I have been doing some reading lately and I have no bookmarks and I am reading more than one book at a time. It's just something I like to do. So I finally got bookmarks and I want to show them to you guys. I got them oh, from yeah, Amazon. They're so yeah. cute. I wanted to find a really cute set of bookmarks and it was- Can you imagine the like Amazon trash that she has uh, lying around or just online stuff? I feel like I did go a little bit overboard this week as far as online shopping goes and- I already have a lot of boxes stacking up that I can't imagine. Really hard to find, but then what all Amber of a sudden has. I was able to find some. You guys, are you freaking ready for this? Because I don't even know if I am, honestly. Bookmarks. Oh my God, just wait for this. Hold on. This angle is like pathetic. Ooh, they all come in its own separate thing. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to open this and I'll be right back. Okay, so you guys probably can't tell, but listen. 
They're metal. They are made out of metal. What? Those are kind of neat, I guess. Oh my God. Look how stunning. My favorite is probably the black one. Yes, I'm drinking it. I do have a Liam, um, yeah, Liam Hemsworth bookmark from the Hunger Games that I still use. Um, if not, I usually use like a dollar. Because like you're not going to want to lose a dollar, right? It's soda. Isn't that so... Ah! They're gorgeous, you guys. I got these off of Amazon. So if you want them, go get them. Okay, you guys, I personally cannot stand this mess. Ugh. So I'm going to clean it. And it's going to be clean in five, four, three, two, one. Magic. I feel wow. a million times better. Clean house, clean mind. So I do have some dishes soaking. And I do need to get... Some new flowers. The last two times I did get red roses, but I think I'm gonna get something different this next time. So I have gotten a few people who are confused about like if I am talking about my weight in my videos now and like Yeah, girl, what happened to the rebranding? I was kind of expecting a huge um shift in content, but um what does that mean for my channel? And I thought I made it clear it could be my fault. Like sometimes I word things kind of weird, but I did say I am still going to be talking about my weight because I want my channel to be all about my yeah, life. Yeah, girl. Um, she does weird. She does word things strangely, and I do think that's where she gets herself into a lot of trouble, especially when it comes to describing medical things. If you know the trials, the errors, the ups and the downs. The reason why I laughed at that is because trials and errors. I used to say that all the time, but people would like make fun of me about it, but you know, that's okay. Like, I just want this to be all about my life. You know, I'm not going to go into any like personal detail with things that are going on outside of what I feel comfortable sharing because I do live a whole other life. I feel like she shouldn't even like make that disclaimer. Like, just don't do it, you know, because that her just coming on and saying, yeah, well, I'm going to keep stuff from you guys. Like, that just rubs people. Just keep it from us. And you know, I just it doesn't don't have to be explained. Certain things on YouTube, and I probably never will. But yes, my yeah, way. Don't even say that. Loss will always be discussed on here. I just don't want to make it just about weight loss because I don't want to be a weight loss channel, and I'm not a weight loss channel. So that's where I kind of went with like the whole rebranding thing. I hope that makes more sense. So Becky is cooking us dinner. Pork chops, what seasoning are you using? Um, I use a little bit of lemon pepper and now I'm using garlic salt. I know a lot of people are like, oh, lemon pepper, that's for bitch. But you know what? You can put it on whatever you want to put it on. Yes. And then we're going to be cooking it on inside of the air fryer, which is delish. And then I don't know why I keep saying and then we're going to have some green beans and some Lager roasted garlic lemon. and olive oil couscous. In the instructions, it says you can add butter and olive oil. Well, it wants you to, but you can do it without, which actually makes the calories a lot less. If you did it with the olive oil and the butter like it wants you to, a serving is 270. And if you do it without, it's only 200. So. so I just got done eating dinner. And when I tell you it was delicious, it was delicious. Thank you, babe. You're welcome, babe. Is she still doing Weight Watchers? I feel like that's what she said last, right? But she really hasn't updated us on that. I think people are a little bit, you know, a little bit miffed about that um so if she's not i don't really see the need for all the calorie talk but did you like it too i did it was good it was very very delicious i like doing that definitely too. cook your pork chops in the air fryer delish this is this many calories oh, yeah. hey guys so it is the next day hello hello we have a little rebecca um haul for you she got a little something from the good old amazon it's um stencils i bought like this wood plaque uh, at Walmart, and I am living it up the Baxter way. Going to <laughs> yeah. um, make it for Amber Lynn, and it's gonna be really cute. And I'm gonna use these stencils. Aww. Oh my gosh, is that Suicide Let me Silence? See some of the other stencils are they still around. I remember, like, in high school, that was like a really popular t shirt. I never listened to them though, so I didn't have one. I didn't want to be a poser in the back because for some reason, when we ordered it, we thought it was just letters. Christmas tree, star. Really don't know if I'd ever Living use for these. the matching. <laughs> yeah, I don't see yourself. Uh, the green. pumpkin's cute. Though. Oh, it is. Uh, whatever these are. Huh. Snowflake. 
Oh, I like the snowflake. Uh, now we've reached numbers. What are these for? I feel like they would look cute on the wall, right? But um, you don't really want to do seasonal stuff on the wall, but um, I'm not really sure if they even can. It's cool, huh? Yeah. So I'm just sitting here feeling kind of down because I, as you can tell, I've been really um, having really bad OCD and just picking a lot. It's now traveled to my face. Um, I do need to talk to my psychiatrist about it. It's just, I don't know what it is, but sometimes it's really bad and other times like I don't do it at all. So I don't really know what's been triggering it lately. It's ever since after my hysterectomy, I've just been like really picky. Um, no, I did not pick my incision, thank God. So enough of that. I wanna show you guys that I have officially started. I feel like that is teetering on talking about her health. This Dean Koontz book. Which she didn't want to do. I don't know. Long, you guys I, just, I can't really read Amber right now. It's like she keeps saying she doesn't want to do certain things and then she does them anyways. I'm on the page. <laughs> Twinkie. <laughs> okay, so are they, they're on ground level. Twinkie's yours. It's I just guess. a little doggy. I don't know. So oh. sorry about that. Twinkie gets a little excited. I guess that would make sense. Um, I'm on page 28 or 29. One of the two. It's pretty good. I started last night and I got to say, I thoroughly enjoy it. Look at this cute session over here. You're on page 29, girl. Thoroughly enjoy. <laughs> Love that for me. <laughs> this is my little family. Rarity and Wasabi are uh, Twinkie. Who knows where? Probably cuddling with each other somewhere. <clears throat> he tried to sleep with you this morning. Wasabi? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right on top of my healing incision. Mm -hmm. And I said, baby boy, no. So I moved him up towards my chest. And guess what I woke up with? What? A swollen eye that itched and scratched. Didn't you see it in the Marco Polos? Yeah. It was, um, it was bad. I feel like I already know like everything that people are going to be like upset about. From this <laughs> the blog. thing about it is, is I used to have really bad um, animal allergies and it's because I didn't grow up with animals in the house. But now that there's animals inside, I've Security. earned a tolerance, <laughs> I guess. Maybe, That's yeah. Good. So it doesn't bother me no more. We use this stuff called Fresh dental or something like that it's this uh breath stuff that you can put in your pet's water oh, and it really water. helps it does i've also I'll started married at first sight this is season nine i've seen the okay you guys i have to tell you about my netflix obsession because i've just been really obsessed there's a show called selling sunset i don't know if any of you guys have seen it before but that's been my recent netflix obsession first few seasons so yeah, I'm on episode two. I love it. I think the show is highly entertaining. You guys, look at what is complete. This, thanks to my beautiful, wonderful girlfriend. Look at that. So this is kind of how okay, I- Okay, yeah, she finally got that done. Oh, I was thinking about that. <laughs> that kept me up at night. You can see me? Yeah, you're just like watching me. <laughs> I'll just sit. <laughs> out of eye shot. Out of eye shot. One thing I noticed about her apartment is it's just it's kind of dark. So this is just like how I have it like for I right didn't now. Like I expect it to be. Um, I don't know what I want to do with Maybe it's just her camera because now like it looks, now it doesn't looks. look dark. This is just jewelry I have to put away. I do have a mirror that I put up on my vanity so I can see what the heck I'm doing. I need a chair for here. I put my brushes right here. A plant. Here is just miscellaneous makeup, hair ties, bobby pins, um, nail polish, lotion. Here's all my eyeshadows, all my lipsticks, some hand sanitizer and a hair straightener. And then nothing. the next three have nothing. So I'm trying to get this room figured out. It's It's been hard. I'm about to show you guys. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, this is their bedroom. It's an or, absolute... This is um, Amber's bedroom, I guess mess and over here i don't know i'm just like a bit confused i wish more than anything that this was white but i mean it's i i also have two mirrors over here one for her one for me type style um, i'm not sure what to do with this there's just a lot on our bed this is our new bed that's a mess you guys but it's a tempur -Pedic. it is super cool vibrates um why legs go up back goes up there's a really cool light that you can turn on for underneath Okay, that sounds really nice and awesome. Why aren't you using it? Look at this baby. Why is it covered <laughs> with junk? Hi, Riddle. Hi, 
baby. Just throw that stuff in the living room and sleep on your bed. Like, I don't know. Uh -huh. So yeah, this is my and Becky's room that you guys are finally um, Not ideal, but... seeing. <laughs> it's really, really messy. And I'm having a hard time trying to figure out what I want to do with it. It's obviously going to be correlating with the rest of the house, like the same like style and colors and stuff. But I've just really been putting off doing this room. Oh, and some people are curious like how tall this bed really is. It's, it's tall. Like for me, it's taller than any bed I'm used to. So it goes up to about my hip area. It's about um, I'm used to beds being right? like, on the floor. So <laughs> we're getting this squared away. Oh oh. Again, we slept in the guest bedroom last night. I hurt my tailbone. I don't really like that bed either. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I have a ton of clothes. Either. Does that mean she doesn't like the expensive bed? That I need to put away. All of these are clean. They're on top of this type of maneuver thingy oh. <laughs> drawer thing. I thought it went all the way down and it was a hamper. I'm a jigger. This is where and I keep my underwear and my that's pants. That's like one load. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is Wasabi's Ew. bed of choice. <laughs> Look at you, baby boy. He is out like a light. But any whoozle, I wanted to end this like vlog. You guys are seeing like this on light. Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the wonderful Wednesday. World Bye. of Disney. Okay, I guess that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and we're going to go ahead and do a comment of the day. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day. And that is, of course, comment of the day. We are just going to go ahead and skip to the newest video, the one that we just looked at, obviously. And we're going to do our comments from there. As you can see, public perception is not the best on this video. So let's just pick a winner and see what people are saying. This is from John. He says, how are you going to do Becky like that with the thumbnail? Okay, so the thumbnail was this. I think it's like a surprise face to the new bra, like, I guess. <laughs> this is from Alexa. Uh, she says, when you said your apartment, Becky heard no could care less what you said after that. You were just full of yourself. If I were Becky, I would go on a low carb diet, lose 60 pounds, go get a job and dare you to treat me like shit again. I hope you see this because your ego is saddening Becky. You're not cute. Why do you insist on acting? Man? I think people are a little bit upset with her treatment of Becky recently when it comes to backhanded, you know, things that could just be their relationship. Um, could just be what we see on camera. I do think that Amber puts up a certain persona for YouTube that doesn't really match what she is like in real life, but we only have that window to judge. This is from Bearskin, who says, we bought this cool new bed to use as a hamper. <laughs> yeah, girl, I don't know about that. That was like shocking to me. This is from Lindsay. Who says, if you immediately could tell the dress was similar to something you already own, you most likely knew that while online shopping. Why are you going to waste so much money on Torrid? Yeah, I did find that a little bit annoying, especially because she ended up not even liking it. So if you already had one and you didn't like it, that was just seemed like a waste of money. This is from Liv, who says, imagine having a nice ass bed and not even sleeping in it. Yeah, I kind of expected a lot of the comments to be about the bed because it was honestly shocking to me. Like, you're going to have this bed that you bragged about how expensive it was and then it vibrates and everything and you're not going to use it just because there's a bunch of junk on it, like, that you could just throw in the living room. I don't know. I love the bookmarks. Yes, says Paula. That was a positive comment. So let's go ahead and just leave it there. Um, for our positive affirmations for the day are the bookmarks were okay.
Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.